Welcome to Worship Leader Hangout. My name is Chad. Today I'm hanging out with Aaron. He is the keyboardist for Lark. Um, they're an awesome band. You need to go check them out. I'll put links in the description below. Um, but they're also uh, worship musicians. Um, they play at uh, churches in their areas where they live. Um, but Aaron is actually, um, one thing that he told me a little, a little bit ago is that he sometimes likes to, to just sit on the keyboard at their venue or at their church that they go to and just see what kind of sounds he can find and what kind of, you know, what he can find that sounds the best out of that local keyboard and out of those local sounds within the keyboard. So um, he's kind of doing that today at my church and just seeing, okay, what can I make sound the way I want it out of this keyboard? And uh, so I know you can elaborate on that a lot more. So we're going to let him take it over. But I uh, appreciate you being here, man. It's an honor. Love so. you too, man. All right. Um, yeah. The benefit of being a piano player is that in most places where you're expected to play there's a piano available or there's a keyboard available now um it can kind of get tricky if uh you, you you know you don't necessarily know the board or you don't necessarily know everything about how everything works i certainly don't know how this, i just met this one today i don't know anything about it except for a couple of things and the reason i know a couple of things is because I'm only targeting a couple of things. Uh, well, especially in playing worship music, um, a big thing that you just need to know is layer layering. And pretty much every keyboard now has layering. Um, and so what I usually shoot for is to get a piano and strings layer or a piano and pad layer. Um, more than strings, I use layer. I mean, they use pad. And so, what I always do first is, and, and I recommend you doing this too, if it's not obvious, just ask somebody. The worship leader usually knows how to layer because that's one of the, the simplest things on the keyboard. And honestly, it's all you need in most worship settings. You just need to know where, how, where the piano is and where like a pad is. And so like today, I sat down at this, this, um, this keyboard and it had a piano, uh, just the basic piano. It was a concert grand. Um, As you know, in, in worship environments, sometimes when the pastor is talking or just playing with the band, the pad is what brings out the, uh, it's what, it's what kind of sustains everything. It kind of lays like a good foundation for all the other music to be played on. So for instance, if I just wanted to lay on, you know, a D chord, that's a good sustain, but I kind of want that cloud cloudiness feel or that kind of peaceful restness feel. And so what I'll usually do is I'll try to find a pad. And what I did today was I just asked, I asked Chad. And sometimes you can ask somebody or you can just, you can figure it out yourself because it's not that hard to find if you know what to look for. And so I asked Chad, I was like, hey man, where's the pads on this? And he said, hey, this is, you know, this is where this is. And you just find a layer. And then, so I looked at the layer, I pressed the layer button. He said, you know, it's pretty usually pretty simple because they want you to be able to find it quickly. And um, so you see what just happened right now? I pushed the wrong one, so I'm gonna find it again. Let's just use this saw pad right now. And the, another thing that you wanna find is how to turn that pad up and down. So right now it's pretty low. If I turn it up, sounds like this. See, that's a little too harsh, right? There's not enough piano and there's too much pad. So I'm gonna turn that pad down. Excuse me. So that's pretty good. And you have to understand that the pad is gonna sound different in different areas of the, the piano. The pads usually sound really cool down here, but when you get up here, they're a little higher. So if you don't like that sound, can I change it? That's a little harsh for me, because it's a saw. So I'm gonna change it to maybe this next one. That rests a lot more.
have your hand on that volume so you can turn the specifically turn the pad down not the whole piano just the pad so yeah um just just figure that out just find where the pad find where the piano is find where the pad is and find that happy medium for what you need it depends on each song um but once you find that out there's a lot of other things that you can kind of cut the fat away from especially if you're just getting on a keyboard and you need to play immediately you find those two things a good piano and a good um, a good pad whatever you like or whatever is going to serve your music the best and once you find that um, you should be all set again have control of the pad so you can turn it up and down as needed I have it pretty low right now so if I'm maybe if the pastor's talking Maybe he's saying something inspirational or trying to build to a point. I'm just going to keep it low. Maybe we're at the end of a song like Resurrecting. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. I know what you're thinking, you're like, Aaron, that's not really, uh, I don't really hear that immediately. Well, the pad, especially when you're playing in songs, is more about how it feels. There's just this, there's just foundation, there's this covering underneath you that, um, that kind of makes everyone feel like they're safe. And if you can give that to the people, they'll like playing with you more, even though it's something as simple as just turning up your pad a little bit and having control of it. So if we're at the top of the song, I mean, if we're at the l loudest part of the song, I turn the pad up. Is a victory yeah. the Christ the King. Say we're coming down here. It's perfect. Well, yeah, if you just use your volume knobs there and don't be afraid to use the master sometimes. Remember where you were before though, so you can take it back. But yeah, that's that's the gist of it. And you'll feel confident on any keyboard that you're using. Like I said, I, this is the first time I've used this one, and I've already been able to maneuver within the uh, the service and within within the band. But yeah, hit me with any of uh, comments or questions you have in the comment section. I'll be down there for a couple months and I'll be watching and responding to you guys. And remember, great worship leaders are always learning.